Hello everybody, thank you so much for clicking on this video and welcome again to our weekend edition of the encouraging to, uh, encouragement to live a victorious life in Christ Jesus alone uh, YouTube channel. Um, I hope that everybody is doing well again and I hope that you are enjoying our weekend editions which may include up to three, four videos per day. <laughs> A mixture of things, lifestyle, um, you know, cooking and home, homemaking, uh, uh, relationship topics, um, societal things, and of course, God is His Spirit will be in everything that we do. God's Spirit is in everything that we do by His grace and mercy. So I am making this uh, video because I was just, I love, uh, I think it's, is it called CBS Sunday? Is that the name of the show? I think it's, that's what it's called. It's, uh, I, is it hosted by um, Jane Pauley, if I'm not mistaken? Well, different people host it, but I think, uh, or they, you know, different segments, but I think Jane Pauley hosts this show, but I'm not sure right now. Because, so I just saw a uh, clips or segment of the program um, from, I guess, from Sunday. Uh, today is, huh, could have been from, I don't know. Anyway, let me just talk about what, I'm, what I want to talk about. Nonetheless, so I, I was, I clicked on, you know, because um, I was interested in this, uh, I love personalities, different personalities, especially those that I grew up with and, are, and I'm familiar with, you know, from various um, news broadcasts or shows and things of that nature. So I saw someone and uh, I know, and they were, had suffered, were, started suffering from um, Alzheimer's at 40 was it 30 or 40? at about 40 and you if you know anything about Alzheimer's you can begin to get it in your late 20s and third and early 30s and and whatnot so I'm always interested in you know I'm not always interested in different things <laughs> that's just who I am but nonetheless so I I noticed uh this woman and who is a radio um excuse me a television personality and whatnot and uh news more news than you know, television, like entertainment, um, you know, and she had began, uh, suffering from Alzheimer's. So, um, her, uh, husband was talking about it, you know, he's written a book about her, uh, and whatnot. And, you know, just talking about their, you know, speaking about her life and things like that, because she has really, um, it has progressed the Alzheimer's unfortunately had had has progressed in her life and he uh at first he was taking care of her um and and at she got to it started at 40 and then she got the diagnosis i think about 55 years old so anyway he was taking care of her then he had someone a live in but then he had to put her in a living assisted living situation so he was telling us all about that and you know he, he wrote a book i believe like i was saying but then he introduced a woman into the picture <laughs> you know a companion and i was like is this is this for the b uh b all over again uh b uh, uh lord what is b I want to say B. Williams, but it's not B. Smith. Uh, all over again, Bill and and B. And sure enough, that's the situation. And I'm like, you know, and then this is no like judgment. It's an observation because people love to say, because even him, he said, don't judge. It's not about judging, brother. It's an observation. And it's something that needs to be corrected because if your wife, is not dead you have no business with another introducing another person into the the equation you you know i wasn't at his wedding or at their wedding i don't know which vows they took but 
overall, irregardless, or, and I know that's not a word, but it's still, you can use it. But regardless of whether or not they took the, the, the vial, the vows to, um, until death do us part, whether you took it or not, it still is, that's a, that's a, a standard vow. And it means, you know, because God is the author of marriage. Man did not make marriage. God is the author of marriage. And for him to introduce a woman into your relationship because you, you can't, I mean, what what is wrong with people? You can't be alone. You know, I mean, if you want support for the situation, because, of course, you, you would need support when you have are dealing with such a thing. You love someone so much and... And, and they're alive, but their mind is gone, going and has gone, you know, and gone, gone. And they don't even re- remember you anymore. You need support for something like that. You know, death of a spouse is one thing, but the death of the mind of a spouse and the, their body is still physically here. You know, it's got to be horrible. It's got to be a horrid, traumatic situation, but there's nothing that we cannot go through and of course we you need you know you would need support of individuals and the spirit of god to get through such thing such a thing i'm quite aware uh but i really believe that it's not until your spouse is dead that you go on and start having a relationship with someone else you know i i just don't understand this the same way bill did is his name bill whatever uh b smith's uh, husband introduced this woman into the equation of their marriage and then you know the same thing is happening with this and i guess maybe this is a thing that people are just doing now uh you know <laughs> i guess it's a thing it's or it's becoming a thing but i think it's very disrespectful to the memory and to the life of of that person uh for both one women, you know, for both women, and if, if even if it was men, as well. But it's just a dis. It's a dis. It's a first of all, it's it's not a moral thing. It's very amoral, as a matter of fact. It's disrespectful. Okay, it's confusion. It's muddling. What and then if you have children, how do you expect for these children, even adult children, is what I mean to even deal with such a thing and those adult children have children so then you have grandchildren that are that you are introducing to such a situation it's really bad you you, a person should wait i mean what are you what is missing from your what is wrong with you in your life that you cannot wait to have a companion or uh, uh, you know, uh, you know, whatever. You can't be alone. I mean, what is that? So now you you have a wife, but you're also intru- you have introduced another person into the situation that you're having relations with and behaving as if they're your wife. I mean, and then you, I mean, it's, they're nothing more really than a concubine. But it's still unfair to for both people because me, I emotionally, I couldn't handle that. I could not handle um, a rela- being in a relationship with a man, and he has another wo- another woman. Oh, there, I can't do it. I have to be the only woman. I don't know about you. I have to be the only woman as far as intimacy and our and uh, uh, you know uh, is is concerned. I have to be the only woman. There's no way I could deal with that and I know some a lot of women they put up with that and they and some of them you know and then they say the most foolish things well he's coming home to me or he loved me or I got the children or I get the money and all you you know you're making excuses because it's wrong it's an abuse it is an abuse I, I, I think I've made that a video on this video channel or either on my relationship uh channel the Titus 2 relationship topic um uh, channel uh before because i you know i but i know i discussed this before have discussed this before but it's an abuse it's an abuse of all for 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 everyone but it's an abuse i mean as a woman 
you emotionally and not just any woman any person you can't handle that that's that's a conf a conflict you're not made for such a thing you're not made that's not your makeup that's not our makeup you know what i'm saying so that's wrong but yeah i just noticed i just just finished watching it so i just wanted to throw it out on our weekend um edition because it's i was just surprised i was like what is is this is this uh b and b uh, b, b smith and, and bill all over again what is this so anyway i just wanted to throw that out there let's talk about it or not if you don't want to but i just wanted to throw that out there i would put the uh link in the video but i don't know if you want me to i'll throw it in there but but yeah that's uh that's something to really deal with um and I know I couldn't. There's no way that I could share a man with another man or another woman. You know, it's like, nothing like that. That's just, no, 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 no. Mm -mm. But anyway, yeah. So anyway, welcome to the welcome. Uh, welcome to the um, the weekend edition. Love you. Have, have a good day. Bye bye for now.